So my name is Todd Sutton. I'm the field coordinator, field staff coordinator from, from Coopersville, Michigan. Um, my drive to hunt, what is, what is my drive? My drive to hunt is, um, So Coopersville is a um, farming community. It's a rural farming community. Just uh, it's about 20 minutes west of Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is the second largest city in Michigan. Um, I have been a teacher I, for 22 years now. I'm entering my 23rd year in, in about a month. Um, and, and, and my job is I'm a secondary resource room teacher, which if, if you're not familiar, a resource room teacher is a teacher who supports students who have special needs, who have been diagnosed with a disability. On top of, I'm highly qualified to teach the area of sciences. Um, my program that I'm currently involved with um, is exactly that. I'm teaching, I teach classes every day, but I'm, I, I'm engaged with students who, um, um, who have disciplinary history. And so now our, my job is to provide services to students who have a lengthy, lengthy disciplinary history, are involved in um, the judicial system and, and that sort of thing. So. I got into hunting a um, long time ago. I've always been um, interested. I've always been involved from the time I can remember. My dad was a novice hunter. He would go out periodically. I had an uncle who was an avid hunter. He he would go out very often and um, when I wasn't with my dad I was always out in the woods with my with my uncle and um, hunting and fishing um, and, and that's I got the bug early in terms of understanding what hunting is um, and I developed my own philosophy from the knowledge I learned from my uncle from my dad and developed my own philosophy is this is the part of hunting specifically I like you know, I, I love archery. That's 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 my passion. That's that's what I like to do. Archery. Um, again, I'm not opposed to, to rifle hunt. I'm not opposed to muzzleload hunt. Um, but my my drive is archery within the outdoor sports world, and I got involved simply because um, my dad passed that on to me, and my uncle was was there to share what he, his knowledge is about outdoor sports and hunting and fishing and that sort of thing. I normally hunt uh, whitetail, of course. Um, so from October, actually end of September, because they have an early season doe, doe, uh, doe season, end of, of September, and then that leads right into archery season from October to November, and then gun season. So basically, end of September to the beginning of January, we're hunting, um, we're hunting whitetail. Um, but during that time too, during archery season, we have turkey, so you can get archery turkey tags. Uh, last year I filled, in, uh, filled my archery turkey tag, so that was pretty cool. But um, so you have archery turkey, you have white tail during the same time, and then when gun season starts, that's when turkey season stops. From January till about beginning of April, uh, we typically go after uh, cottontail, we go after rabbits, we go after squirrels, small game, um, birds, we go after pheasants. Um, woodcock in the fall as well so we're really starting to get into that with our with our new bird dog uh, bird dog Remy um, and then of course April is, is spring turkey season and then once spring turkey season ends at the end of May then we focus on fishing you know and we always talk about how Michigan has has certain seasons you have you have deer season in in the uh, in the fall you have turkey season in the spring and then you have fish season <laughs> so uh, right now we're currently in fish season so that's our, it's our focus to, to try to fill up our freezers You had the opportunity to come down here mm -hmm. and hunt down here for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your experience down here. My experience is what um, I've dreamt about, envisioned, you know, what I envisioned. And so my experience was um, 
when I saw the hogs, that adrenaline <laughs> kicked in right away, and and uh, something I've always dreamt about, and that was that was fun. It was a lot of fun. Of course, hunting hogs. I've hunted hogs before, but in Michigan, um, feral hogs are very rare, if often, if seen at all, ever. Um, so you have to go on a game ranch, and a game ranch is a little bit different, you know. Um, you eventually catch up to them. It's still challenging. It's not like you sit down and see one right away and harvest it. Um, it's still, it's still just as challenging in terms of trying to get on the hogs, figure out where they are, and then on the game ranch and that sort of thing. But here, something totally different because on the game ranch, you know eventually you're going to catch up to them. Here, you don't know if you're going to see them at all. You know, they could have gone miles away. You know, they may, may have migrated miles away. So you don't know. Growing up watching outdoor channels and seeing all these people hunt, you know, along the Texas landscape and, and hunting amongst the, the mesquite and the cacti and, and that sort of thing. I've always wanted to do that. And it's exactly what I envisioned, you know, um, dry ground, you know, the, the grass is very dry and it's almost like straw. That's, that, that's what I, that's the vision I formed when, when watching these. And so, so the experience I had is beautiful landscape, beautiful topography. Um, it's very hot, you know, we're, we're in July right now, so of course it's gonna be hot, um, but it really wasn't a nuisance, really wasn't bothersome, just because I expected it to be hot. And if you prepare for that, you plan for that, it's really not gonna hinder your experience. And, and I had a great experience. What is my drive? My drive to hunt is um, pretty much the same philosophy I take as an educator. Gather as much information, absorb as much information as I possibly can, because I love learning about things in general, anything that I, that I, you know, immerse myself in. I love learning about and I absorb it just like a sponge and I, and I love sharing that with other people. And my why, my obsession is to see others take what I teach them and develop their own philosophies, develop their own techniques, develop their own strategies to be successful, not only in the outdoors, not only in the classroom, but in life in general. That's my obsession, that's my why, that's what drives me.